Cottage Cuties? Ciao, come stai? Stai bene? Che cosa fa? Siete tutti pronti a giocare? Bene, bene. Allora, allora, è il momento che stavate aspettando. It is time to play HQ, the live mobile game show, where you answer questions to win cash. Io sono il vostro presentatore, Scott Brigowski, thanking all 4,000 of you who tweeted at me last night with the proper Italian translation for savage question. Might we have some domande selvagge in today's game? Huh? Well, all 600,000 plus of you are ready to find out, including Cameron Cummings, Johns Hopkins men's lacrosse Big Ten champions. Yeah, baby. That's my Blue Jays. That's my Blue Jays. Addie's friend Sabian. Jamie and Becca are graduating from nursing school this week. And happy belated birthdays to Tyler Eng, the tattoo trivia king, and our very own social media guru, Andrew, who turned 73 yesterday. Yes, HQ has the oldest social media manager in the game, and we're still slaying it. Did you guys play last night? We had 3 million people joining for our late night doubleheader. Never miss a Sunday show or shows. Today we're back to regularly scheduled programming. I'm asking 12 questions. You have 10 seconds to answer each one. Make it to the end and you win our cash prize, which today is 5,000 Donald Glovers. $5,000, baby. Talk about hundred band, hundred band, hundred band, hundred bands. Have you seen This Is America? The video got me shooketh. Incredible. If you win HQ today, remember to screenshot the victory and show it to your boss. By law, you get to become the boss for the rest of the week. Yes, give yourself a raise. Order six dozen cronuts for the office. Make HQ mandatory. Whatever you want to do. Prego, prego, manja, manja. You ready to quiz me and get some money? Let's get down to the nitty gritty with 680,000 plus of you now. Let's get the show on the road at Cumero Numero Uno. Many U.S. states have laws requiring dogs in public places to be on what? Cloud nine, social media, or leashes? How much is that dog in Cumero Numero Uno? Everywhere I look, someone is breaking the law. Dog, no leash. Man, littering. Horse, not wearing diaper. Leashes is your answer. You got to click it or tick it with your doggo. 642,105. Feeling like a freak on a leash today. 15,000 thought social media is required. Look, that could be coming very soon. There are a lot of dogs on Instagram. Q2, bowling balls are mainly designed to knock down what? Spools, needles, or pins. Are you on pins and needles for this one? It, it really shouldn't be. H cuties, this is not nom. This is bowling. There are rules. And the rules are you roll the ball, you knock down pins. If you will it, dude, it is not a dream. Pins is your answer here. 630,345. They don't roll on Chavez. The rest of you got it wrong. Obviously, you're not a bowler. Q3, what is the world famous statue of Venus de Milo famously missing? Legs, arms, or a sense of direction. Named for Milos, the island where this was discovered, the statue, of course, was inspiration for the Gummy de Milo, the rarest gummy of them all, carved by gummy artisans who work exclusively in the medium of gummy. It is believed to be the goddess of those having trouble hailing taxis due to her missing arms. No arms on the Venus de Milo. 559,748 of you have arms and hands and fingers, and you're tapping the right answers today. You're getting Q4 right now. Which of these creates the most volatile reaction when added to vinegar, baking soda, salt, or sugar? First you get the sugar, then you get the way of money. Many a science fair volcano has harnessed the brutal power released by a quart or so of vinegar added to a box of ordinary supermarket baking soda. Baking soda! I got baking soda! So do 538,583 of you. It's best to practice in the backyard to get those proportions right. We are erupting to Q5. What is the correct spelling of a word that means burial ground? That word is cemetery. How do you spell it? Here's a savage question. A domanda selvaggia. What's scarier, a spelling test or a cemetery at midnight on All Hallows Eve? Ooh, might be too late for you today, but... To remember this spelling going forward, it helps to use the handy mnemonic device. There are no A's in cemetery. C-E-M-E-T-E-R-Y, because I love you. All 287,416 who got this right. You were going to live 
for another question. The rest of you, 220,000 thought it was the wrong one. You are dead and buried. Q6, what film director is famous for making cameo appearances in most of his own movies? George Lucas, Alfred Hitchcock, or Steven Spielberg? This heavy set Helmer appeared in most of his own movies, and even Lifeboat, a movie which featured just 10 actors floating in the middle of the ocean. How'd he do it? He managed to sneak in his image as before and after pictures in a weight loss ad in a newspaper. One of the characters was, was reading HQ presents Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock Hitch. The master of suspense, and 187,070 of you are masters of trivia right now, dialing Q for Q7. In its traditional form, which of these sauces is considered vegan? Fish sauce, duck sauce, or Worcestershire sauce? Shout out my vegans in the game today. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of R's in there. Worcestershire is your worst option here. It trickly contains anchovies, making it unvegan. Fish sauce is more what it sounds like, made from actual fermented fish, also not vegan. But weirdly, there's no duck in duck sauce. It's mostly plums. Duck sauce is your answer. 59,869 are given no ducks today. We did lose about 120,000 plus of you there. Two-thirds gone, 60,000 about remain. Brutal Q7, slightly savage. We're going to Q8. In which of these classic rock songs is the title part of the lyrics? Bohemian Rhapsody, My Generation, or A Day in the Life. Speaking of duck sauce, Barbara Streisand. Huh? A day in the life might describe a day in someone's life, but you'd guess the title was, I read the news today, or something like that. No. You don't hear A Day in the Life in the song A Day in the Life by the Beatles. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen is not going to be heard in the song's lyrics. But the Who sing the title of my generation about a hundred times during the song. People try to put us down. You're not putting down 45,962 of you. I'm talking about my generation. I'm talking about your generation. Moving on to Q9 right now. Which of these U.S. states does not border both Florida and Tennessee? Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. Georgia, Bama, or Mississippi. No one has mastered U.S. geography until they know Mississippi from its mirror image, Alabama. Mississippi's on the left with that long squiggly border river named after it. Alabama's scooched over to the right, keeping Mississippi from touching Florida. Mississippi is your answer. Ba -na -da -na. Mississippi queen, 29,341 doing the half step. Mississippi uptown, toodaloo, on to Q10. Which of these Sanrio characters is a family member of Hello Kitty? Dear Daniel, my melody, or Minnie? Dear Daniel, back at it again. Dear Daniel is Hello Kitty's boyfriend. They better not be related. My Mello is an entirely different species altogether. She's a wabbit, a wascally wabbit. But Mimi and Kitty not only share parents and a last name, which is White, by the way, Kitty White, but also a birthday because Mimi is Kitty's adorable twin sister and best friend. 12,868 are going to be saying hello to Q11 right now. The penultimate question. The only lizard known to regularly swim in the ocean is a species of what? Iguana, Komodo dragon, or gecko? I come from the land of darkness. I come from the land of doom. I come from the land of lizards. Way out in the Galapagos Islands and nowhere else will you find a species of this animal who forage for algae in the Pacific Ocean. It seems way more active than their American cousins who lounge around in pet shops. It's the marine iguana. I wanna iguana at Q11 and 7,823 want to answer one more question today so you can win some of that sweet, sweet candy. That sweet, sweet cash. This is at Q12. It all boils down to this for the 7,823 H cuties left standing. After 680,000 start of the game, $5,000 on the line. Q12. Which of these words does not appear in the title of a Dr. Seuss book? Quaggerbug. Walk it. Biffle. 
Susical, the musical. You're going to be singing a song of joy if you got this one right. Old Teddy Geisel published over 60 children's books with many funny names and titles, including Fidwicks, Ooblex, Sneeches, Gerald McBoing Boing, Daisy Head Maisie, Horton and the Quugger Bug, which was published posthumously in 2014, and 1974's There's a Wocket in My Pocket, which leaves Biffle as your answer at Q12. No Biffle in the title, but 2,970 are winners in my book today, baby! <laughs> Maybe not enough to retire on. I would still keep playing HQ. All Jillian Re, Soul J3, Hobito, Scrambulance, uh, Minnesota Vikings.